Mustang 1, Mike X-ray 25, right, ready for departure. Looks like we've got a little left positive, so we're not going to let it push us this time. Mike X-ray 25, Burton and I'm a pilot and a flight instructor. <laughs> Why did I want to learn to fly? That, I think that's a hard question because it seems like everybody would want to learn to fly. To me, it seems like why wouldn't you want to learn to fly? I just always thought it would be a cool thing to do. When I was young, I rode motorcycles, my brother and all his friends, and I don't know, I just, I like machines also. I like to go fast, but flying just seemed, seems, and still is, particularly fun. I flew airlines about six or seven years. It was, it was great, I mean, the guys were great. I actually never flew with a woman the entire time I was there. I had certain challenges. Passengers thought I was a flight attendant a lot and asked me for stuff. <laughs> it was good, but it's challenging to be always away from home. For whatever reason, the percentage of female pilots hasn't risen all that much over the years. Not that I really think about the gender thing that much in flying. You know, it's really just flying is flying and do the job well. Flight instructing is, in so many ways, has been just sort of a stepping stone in aviation. And I also used it when I was younger as a stepping stone to move up to the airlines, and um, I circled back. I think it's just such a, an amazing way to be able to work in the field I want, and also to share my passion and interest in flying. Turning downwind, midfield, Tracy 430. Yeah, like for that guy never boring. I mean, there's nothing about instructing that's repetitive because everybody approaches it differently. I didn't appreciate it as much when I was younger as I, I do now. There is a certain way that pilots see the world. It is something that requires you to really quickly take note of a problem and make a decision. And maybe pilots are, are definitely not a, a group to make a big deal out of something small. I'm pretty quick about just like, you see a problem, you make a decision, handle it, and then move on. Move on to the next thing that's important. In the United States, what we have in aviation, we can literally go to all these airports all over the place and just land and take off for free. I don't think they have that anywhere else in the world. The ability to just pick up and go, I think it's part of the American psyche that we have this big country, relatively speaking, and we like our cars. We can drive across hundreds and hundreds of miles without border checks and things like that. But in a plane, it's, I mean, take that, it's just to the, another whole extreme. I like to do so many things. I'm kind of a short attention span person, but flying's the one thing that just has held me all these years. I continue to love it. You know, it's really, really important to me. I really love it.